Hello people, in this video let us look at perforating corneal ulcer. So a corneal ulcer that perforated, right? So first of all let us understand what we are telling. This is cornea, right? All the layers of the cornea shown here. So what happened is uh, there was ulcer in the cornea, right? That was the break in the epithelium with underlying necrosis. Now this ulcer uh, has become so deep uh, that it has caused a perforation. So what will happen if the cornea perforates? So now let us say this is the cornea and there is a perforation here. So whatever is there here, the fluid, what is that? That is the aqueous humor. It is going to come out. Right? And then the iris will come in front. Right? The iris is going to come in front. The lens is going to come in front. So all these will be the complications because of all this perforation. So why will perforation happen and what types of corneal ulcer perforation will happen? So uh, in usually in um, definitely it has to be an ulcerative keratitis because ulcer only will lead to perforation. So ulcerative keratitis what and all you saw in that only again you will see all the perforation. In bacterial perforation can be there uh, especially pneumococcal uh, perforation is fast. Fungal is rare. Okay. Fungal is rare. Okay. And viral in zoster, again perforation can be there. In exposure keratopathy, perfor perforation can happen. Then peripheral ulcerative keratitis, uh, there, there also perforation can be there. Murens ulcer also, that is because of the uh, uh, autoimmune, right? In that also perforation can happen. So almost everything, see bacterial there is perforation, viral there is perforation, exposure keratopathy there is there can be perforation, then uh, so almost everything that ulcerates, almost everything that ulcerates will uh, can go into perforation. So let us say this person had a corneal ulcer and they coughed or sneezed or some spasm of, of orbicularis muscle. Uh, so what will happen? A impending perforation can become an actual perforation. If you remember, we have seen a terminology terminology called as decimetoseal, right? Decimetoseal, you can see here, till the desmids membrane it has come, right? And uh, the this is a perforation. It is an impending perforation, right? Once the person coughs, there can be perforation. So when the perforation happens, what will happen? He will feel like some warm uh, fluid is coming out of his eye. Why? What is coming out? The aqueous humor is coming out, right? Then what happens? Uh, there can be prolapse of iris. Subluxation or anterior dislocation of lens. See, this is anterior dislocation of lens. Anterior capsular cataract. When the lens comes in contact with the ulcer. Corneal fistula. Okay. It is formed when the perforation in the pupillary area is not plugged by the iris. Purulent uveitis. Endophthalmitis. Okay, and panophthalmitis, all the layers, some layers inside the eye, all these are getting inflamed, right? Intraocular hemorrhage, bleeding in the form of either vitreous hemorrhage, choroidal hemorrhage, because of um, the sudden lowering of intraocular pressure, all this can happen. So just revise, tell what and all can happen. Perforation. Aqueous humor will come out, that's the hot liquid coming out. So intraocular pressure will drop, iris will come forward, lens can come forward, anterior capsular cataract can happen and uh, because of the, of the drop in the, all this pressure, there can be a hemorrhage. So there can be vitreous hemorrhage, choroidal hemorrhage, right? What else did we learn about? Corneal fistula, purulent uveitis, endophthalmitis, panophthalmitis, okay? Adherent leukoma will happen when it results when healing occurs after perforation. So after perforation, if there is healing, there can be adherent leukoma. So what will stick? Iris. Iris. This is adherent leukoma. You can see the iris is stuck to the cornea. Adherent. When does that happen? When there is perforation and then there is healing. So that's dangerous. Okay. So how will you uh, prevent uh, perforation? So you tell this person don't strain, take some rest, don't cough, etc. Right? 
then pressure bandage for some external support giving acetazolamide so that it uh, you decrease the pressure inside so that it doesn't burst out isn't it so lowering of intraocular pressure how by using acetazolamide mannitol all the diuretic this one right thymolol eye drops so basically to reduce the intraocular pressure what is this parasynthesis to with slow evacuation of aqueous what is parasynthesis they are planning to make a hole and remove the aqueous humor wow so perforate and remove fluid but then you are only causing the perforation maybe it is more uh, small or something okay tissue adhesive glue such as cyanocrylate cyanoacrylate cyanoacrylate so remember this one it is interesting adhesive glue glue it's like as though what and all has come you just put glue soft bandage uh, soft contact lens bandage soft contact lens then conjunctival flap cornea may be covered with a conjunctival flap okay so you understood all that right is that difficult to understand so what they are saying is you have to reduce the intraocular pressure so that it doesn't perforate and come out you take this conjunctiva and create a flap over the cornea not sure how do they do that then what else did they say tell that person not to strain etc then uh, some glue gum cyanoacrylate they are talking about then contact lens conjunctival flap amniotic membrane transplantation wow then keratoplasty finally uh, they are talking about a corneal transplant here you should the word that you should know is tectonic graft okay penetrating keratoplasty just pay attention here they are talking about a penetrating that is a full thickness all the layers of the cornea keratoplasty so this is about impending perforation for impending perforation itself they will do all this keratoplasty now let us say that it's per perforated then what do you do so here they are saying that you will give systemic antibiotics in fulminating cases with perforation that means perforation has occurred is it so some uh, rapidly progressing kind of a thing so they are giving systemic antibiotics cephalosporin aminoglycoside ciprofloxacin ciprofloxacin and all you heard so many times right in this uh, ophthalmology cephalosporin cephalosporin is a, like a very high level word isn't it there are so many generations of cephalosporin aminoglycoside also so many other anyways uh, let's move on now under treatment of perforated cornea also they are talking about the same thing restore the integrity of perforated cornea some glue they are talking about conjunctival flap keratoplasty soft contact lens so basically they are trying to cover the perforation looks like tectonic keratoplasty don't forget same word tectonic so that's all people in this video what did we look at penetrating sorry perforating corneal ulcer we looked at perforating corneal ulcer so what corneal ulcers will perforate almost everything that ulcerates will perforate <clears throat> bacterial viral <clears throat> exposure keratopathy mainly you can remember all this then uh, how does it perforate because it uh, first it goes deep 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 then it goes till the desmet layer where they called it as a desmeto seal or something right then this person coughs or sneezes suddenly everything will come out and uh, he'll feel hot fluid coming out then what and all can happen because of this there will be reduced intraocular pressure the iris will come in front the lens will get anteriorly dislocated the lens can undergo anterior uh, capsule cataract then there can be vitreous hemorrhage choroid hemorrhage then finally when it heals they are calling it as an adherent leukoma right how do you prevent all this from happening if there is an impending perforation same thing conjunctival flap some gum you put then reduce the intraocular pressure by giving some drugs then you can also remove make a perforation and remove the uh, aqueous humor some of it then what else they said keratoplasty tectonic penetrating right penetrating isn't it that's the word what did they say 
yeah, penetrating therapeutic keratoplasty. Amniotic membrane transplant, conjunctival flap, soft contact lens, right? Pressure bandage, tell the person not to strain, take bed rest, etc. That's all for now in this video, guys. We will meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.